Experts say we are at an inflection point in manufacturing. That's why RPI is celebrating the launch of the Center for Smart Convergent Manufacturing Systems. School officials, industry leaders, and representatives from the state all gathering for the new center's ribbon cutting. However, it's been operating for the last three months, as student researcher Amir Barbie demonstrates. This is the intersection of manufacturing, robotics, and AI development. The center's director, Johnson Samuel, says it's a game changer. So we are helping U.S.-based companies implement intelligent production systems as part of their workflow. So the barrier of entry of, of things like robotics, things like artificial intelligence, has come down quite a bit. It's a state-designated Center for Advanced Technology, which is overseen by NYSTAR, as Executive Director Ben Vershuren explains. NYSTAR oversees a statewide network of over 30 university-based technology centers, so this is the newest entry to that family, as well as manufacturing extension partnership, incubators, hotspots. Basically, we're building that innovation foundation for the state. Samuel says it's inevitable when I asked if jobs will be lost to AI. Yes, there are going to be certain jobs that are going to go. There's no, and, and I think if you if you look at it from the positive side, right, if you talk to any manufacturer today, the issue is not the loss of job, it is they can't find people. Samuel says it will take upskilling the workforce. People like Amar are the promise that, you know, they are the ones who are going to keep us at the forefront of, uh, of technology, right? It's not about taking a process that's done by hand and then doing it by a robot. It's by empowering that person, right, to, to educate them to be higher skilled, or to be able to run a robot, and then be 10 times as more productive. Barbie sharing these last words of advice for scholars. Stay curious. Reporting in Troy, Karina Dominguez, News 1080 Sue.